Next, I want to touch on just a little bit with furniture and F, F, and E. So if we go to the main floor, if we go down to our families, we can see there's a category for furniture. And if we have furniture loaded, then we can um, place those components. Uh, tables, chairs, countertops, kitchen equipment, um, tables, uh, beds, whatever you want to add, uh, vehicles, stuff like that. Actually, vehicles aren't furniture. They're either site or entourage. But we would need to load some furniture first. So we would go up to our good old insert tab, load families, and probably go to metric. Furniture, and we've got furniture we've got beds we've got seating different seats you can go to Herman Miller have a lot of Revit families available um, tables storage cabinets tables and some different tables that come with tables and chairs etc like a grouping TV stand, flat screen TV. So a little bit of furniture inside of there that you can bring in and then you just place those um, components once you have them. As an example, I'll just use my control button. Grab a couple of these. Load them up. They'll show up down here under furniture. And there they are. So we could click in here and start to, you know, bring in a desk for this office. Place a desk in there. Uh, place an executive chair, etc. So furniture, equipment, cabinets, uh, hospital beds, whatever you want, you can bring them in. And then if you wanted to, you can create a schedule. So furniture, really easy stuff. Load it in, drag it in, probably create a furniture plan view that has the furniture turned on and a construction plan view that has no furniture inserted. So just a little mini lesson on loading and uh, placing of furniture items in our project.